Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow with Robberlink. Hello. Alrighty, where we last left off, we explored most of the pinnacle, at least, hopefully, we explored a lot of it at least. Uh, so there are a few offshoots that we didn't quite fully explore, but if you want to just go forward for now and we can get the offshoots later, it's up to you. Ow. Um, just so you know, you are heading backwards. Dude, I forget where I'm heading. <laughs> well, do you want to head backwards or forwards? I was just going to go grab these little spots, like explore right below me. All right. Yeah, if you want to. It does seem like it's one huge room that just has a separator that's not on the map. Yeah. So from what I'm guessing, that might just be like an extra way to get back without going through that room with the two final guards and Mothman. Hmm. Which I did, by the way, uh, farm for you if you want to look at his skull, uh, his soul, not his skull. All right. Because he's one of those special spirits. He's yellow. Gain more experience points, just like the shaman ring. So what would happen if you used both of those and then started killing the really uh, tough enemies like the, the final guards? Hmm. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, you know the iron golem? From Minecraft? No. <laughs> Uh, try to remember. He was in the lower left section. Uh, you only did like one damage to him. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Apparently, in in the previous game, he had like a ton of health, and you could only kill him with the uh, killer mantle. Apparently, in this, he only has like fifty health. Oh. So you can't actually kill him. You just have to keep wailing on him. Yeah, and something I figured out on my own, but then I did look up if there was a better way, and it was actually the way I was doing it. Uh, the dead pirate soul. Do you remember what that does? Uh, I just looked at it. <laughs> it it allows you to do extra damage if you hit from behind. Apparently double damage in the case of the iron golem. And that's the way you can cut down the, you know, 50 HP to about 25 hits then. Oh. Huh. And there are some weapons, I don't know if you have them though, that can attack really fast, but are generally weaker. But if you're limited to one damage anyway, it can be very useful. I think in particular the one that I used was the the strongest version of the punching weapon. It can punch very fast. Hmm. So then you can get, you know, 25 hits in pretty quickly. And also for the Iron Golem as well as the Final Guard, if you just don't want to deal with them, you can use that uh, the Puppet Master with the Skeleton Ape to just throw it past them and just completely bypass them. Huh. I was paying attention to about half of that, but I think I got it. Yeah, you can just toss the doll and say, I don't want to deal with you. Even if you take up half the screen, I can throw farther now. Yeah, and then there there is the earlier offshoot path that I, I thought for sure, you know, because it kept going, the other way would probably be a dead end, but then it was not the case. It, it defied my expectations, so. What path are we talking about? Oh, oh, Baroness. Unleash divine energy that causes widespread damage. Uh, that little, like, below you, if you go straight down on the map. That unexplored area. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, to the left? or Oh, directly down. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what about it? That's another offshoot that I thought okay. might be the way forward. So I, I convinced you to go the other way, and, uh... Now here we are. <laughs> oh, well. I already forgot. What was... The new right, was extra XP. Yeah. What was this new one? Okay. Is it just... Okay, yeah, I guess they just need to be close enough and it'll just hurt them. Oh, that's the wall. Kind of limited range, though. I was hoping for the entire screen. Ow. <laughs> you got spaghetti. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, I can hit through walls. Though, spamming it does take up quite a bit of mana. 
Oh, and I also opened up that, uh, the one gold door, the slot machine door in the lower left corner. I did that off screen for you. All right. Ow. Now, would you like to hear what I've been doing in my own file? Sure. What have you got? So in my file, I've gotten enough gold to get the the Soul Eater Ring, which improves your chances of collecting souls. And I decided just for the heck of it, since I had time, I went and farmed extra souls for anything that could be leveled up. And I've gotten every soul that we, you know, we've come across. I've gotten them all to max level. It took me a long time, but I did it. And I am now level 88. <laughs> which is higher than my level in my original file. That's literally twice my current level. <laughs> and I've made no further progress story-wise. I, I think my, my max health is over a thousand now. <laughs> Just for the sake of getting souls. Good lord. Oh, and I, uh, I, I didn't intentionally farm ghouls because you can't level it up. But there are certain rooms where I was farming enemies where I came across a lot of them. Oh, wait. Actually, would you like to know a secret room? Sure. Upper left. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, huh, how do I get up there? So, this is below that, but if you go left. Like, right where you're going to head into it, that's breakable. Here? Yeah. I don't know if you can what? break it with a gun. Oh, I did. <laughs> Um, but yeah, in terms of the ghouls, I came across them. Oh, the... I thought you meant above me. Like where I am right now. No, because that's where you need to go. It's already on the map. Yeah, you got Durandal. I think that's a weapon you could have already crafted if you didn't already. Hmm. Um, but in terms of what I was talking about, the ghoul, there was one point, I think I killed a ghoul and then left the room because I, you know, keep leaving a room and re-entering to make a different enemy respawn so I could farm it. Uh -huh. And... I had the the top screen set to show the enemy stats and whatever when, right. you, when you hit select. And for some reason, the enemy icon bugged out, and it displayed the Allura Une with the color palette of a ghoul. Ugh. <laughs> and I did actually... Like, I was using my DS Lite, which I can't record with, but I just, you know, <laughs> took this camera we have and recorded it, so I got a little bit of footage of it, what it looked like. It just might not... Look it might not look like great quality because of that, though. <laughs> so, should I, like, keep going down and explore that little bit? Yeah, if you'd like to. Alright. So I'm going there anyway, apparently. Because I'm just kind of roaming around while I'm trying to listen and <laughs> not die. Failing on one of those. At least. <laughs> suck their feet for HP. Oh, and speaking of the Allura Une, I think that other commenter, not Skull Knight, the other one, mentioned that you can use the touch screen to make her attack faster. And I think I saw there were there was at least one or two other souls that that can work for. I think they're usually the blue souls that, huh. that can have, that can be influenced by the touch screen, apparently. Interesting. Like, I don't know if you have the uh, the Quetzalcoatl soul, but I think that one, too. You can choose where he goes, basically. Hmm. Um, yeah, this other commenter, it's weird because on YouTube, if I go through the comments on... Actually, I think even in, in the video, but also in this oh, YouTube studio. There's a save right here. Oh, that could have been helpful. <laughs> yeah, in YouTube studio, as well as apparently on the just the video page, when, when someone leaves a comment, for some reason it just shows this at user thing that people don't always set and it might not equal their default username. So the person who's been leaving these comments, their their like username is just like CC or something like that. But what shows up when I'm seeing their comments is this user dash WN eight V K six N whatever. I like wrote it down there. So I read off some of it, but <laughs> it's just this nonsense basically. So it's like, uh, I don't know what to call you unless I figure out how to actually view your real username. That's, kind of dumb yeah hmm. she's, she's sus you know what we do to sus people be gone thought <laughs> well there's just three of them in a row four 
<laughs> it's like, hmm, one might not be enough to fool him. We need to try <laughs> this multiple times in a row. Surely he'll think one of them is real. Wasn't that a thing in uh, Paper Mario in the... Wait. In that ice area where, like, you use your partner for something and then suddenly there's, like, three or four of your partner and you have to choose the right one based on what they say. But then there's the one point where... <laughs> Because they're like the mimic guys, but there's there one time I think when you use uh, Cooper and all these other characters come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I remember that that like ice yeah. castle. Yeah, it's like they're not even trying good enough. It's like the uh, the Koopa Elder or whatever is there, and hey. some of the others, and I think Luigi. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. Mm -hmm. Somehow, I don't think these... I think one of them tries to disguise himself as Cooper and says, hey, It's me, your brother. <laughs> like, absolutely. Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay. I wonder if this will actually open up that path at the top of the demon guest house area on the right. Not the top of it, but, you know, the top of that right section. Hmm. But yeah, it, it is a transition. Because there was that one, it was just a closed mechanical looking door on the ceiling, if you remember. Uh, that sounds familiar. No! Stop it! I don't consent! <laughs> this is why you always carry a battle axe on you. <laughs> it's the way to show that you do not consent. Oh yeah, that looks like a, a button. There we go. Oops. Whoa. Hey, you guys can't throw me down a pit anymore. <laughs> hey, look, okay, we'll just fly away then. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Ow. There we go. Darn it, I'm no longer twice your level. Ha ha ha. I'm catching up. <laughs> I better go farm two more levels now. <laughs> Money. So what is up here? I don't know. That's a mimic, based on its coloration. I just assume they're all mimics. Right. It's not the magic... Give me the magic. He died. <laughs> this is so pitiful. <laughs> Just kind of fell apart. Dang it, I had a thought and I've forgotten it already. I hate it when that happens. Mm. Oh. So. Somewhere. Uh, <laughs> In, like, the opposite part of the map, there was that block with the skeleton image imprinted on it, and all you needed to do was use the skeleton soul. So I assume that's basically what this is. Do you have... You have the axe armor, right? Yep. Uh, this guy, I don't know. Hmm. Killer clown? Nah. I could farm that one for you. Hmm. Uh, I farmed nine of them. I can farm one more. <laughs> I don't think they're a level three rarity, which are the more, the most annoying ones, basically. Uh, real quick. I think the third one might be the Ukoback, which is where you just place a fire in midair. Ah. Uh, where is the scouting? One. Oh, the ghost? Is that what it is? Yeah. Are there any more? No. Okay. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just want to make sure. Alright, so that's something for me to do between sessions. There's always going to be more work for me. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't expecting there to be actually more to this section. I thought it was just going to be an attachment to... The pinnacle. Oh, hi. 
Am I interrupting <laughs> something? Interrupting ladies' night. They're having a sleepover. As you do in a, a cult base, I guess. I mean, it's their day off or something. I don't know. Why? Why was she holding onto a pitch black suit? She definitely wasn't wearing it. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> a suit that is the color of inky darkness. Hmm. Oh no, you made them ink all over it. <laughs> but there's no squids here. <laughs> they were there before. They were. <laughs> they they had the first party. That was the second party you interrupted. Ah. Uh, dang it! <laughs> I missed the squid party. Yeah. Ow. The party of monstrous sea creatures. Oh, it's another iron golem. Did you want to kill it? Sure. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a lot easier if you go behind because then it can't really hit you. Provided it doesn't step on you then, I don't know. Well, whichever way you want to do it should be fine. Especially if you're getting HP back. Ow. Okay. Not going so well. You know what? <laughs> there we go. I believe he is resistant to everything just like the final guards though. Yeah. So what was the point of that? I guess to try and get his soul. <laughs> it wasn't even protecting anything. <laughs> that was a huge waste of health. Uh, safe point nearby? Uh, so is that a dead end then? Well, uh, I can't really see from here, so I'll just uh, increase its size real quick. Yeah, it looks like the only other way you could go is by breaking those those blocks, which you need the killer clown for. Yeah. All right, so... Would um, you let me kill you? Thank you. I guess back to the pinnacle? Yep. Ow. Ow. I was already, like, I was across the screen from you. What? All right, just brought out the stylus. What for? Uh, did you say that the Persephone could, like, attack faster or something? No, the Allura Une. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm dumb. But I, I did mention that I think, uh, for the most part, the souls that can be influenced by it are blue souls. Which Persephone is, but I don't think it's one of the ones. Yeah. You missed. But yeah, no. You can only... The vacuum's already at max power setting. <laughs> Wait, did she just leave? <laughs> yes. Okay, she, then. She's not into the vacuum. Oh, got her soul. Succubus. Regain HP by drinking blood. Does that work on the undead? I thought the whole thing was that... You know... Actually, that's more of a vampire thing. Do succubus actually do that? I thought it was different for succubus, but I don't know. Succubi. Whatever. What does it mean by drinking blood? What? I'm just saying, like... Actually, wait, it's an active soul, so... What does it do? Oh. Give me a hug. Wow, that just killed her. <laughs> huh. Well, that's a good bit of health. And damage, actually. <laughs> you can now have a full HP recovery set. You can have Succubus, Persephone, and the Ouija table that allows you to <laughs> <laughs> regain HP by sitting down. Oh, there was the first Succubus. Okay. There we go. Now you're good on health. Yay. But if you want to save. <laughs> yeah, just be safe. All right. Actually, I want to check something real quick. Uh, you. How many witches did it take to kill you? 
do. <laughs> okay, but I like one shot them with the yeah succubus souls. So I guess they really uh, are weak to their own medicine. Which is not something I'd expect, you know? Like a fire demon probably wouldn't be weak to fire. Probably would be resistant to it. I don't know, man. Wait, so... Okay. I don't think that's a common soul, is it? Yeah, that's a three star. You just got two of them in one episode. W look, man. <laughs> when it comes to rolling dice, I suck. But when it comes to rolling souls, I guess... I'm good. So, what about soul dice? Is that a thing? <laughs> Would you be good or bad at it? It probably keep flip flopping. <laughs> Very inconsistent. There's no middle ground. It's just always extremes. Yes. Ow. Fine. <laughs> no hugs for you. Well, if it succeeded, you'd either be hugging the horse or uh, hugging a skeleton. <laughs> Pick your poison. Hmm. Ah, there is a teleport point, which would be... <laughs> it would have been very helpful for when I was going back to open the door. Yeah. Okay, and then there's just the room to the right. Mm -hmm. I want to explore real quick. Ow. So funny just seeing you suddenly suck up all the particles. <laughs> Excuse me, cleaning. Coming through. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, and um, so I don't, I don't know that much about the the Castlevania series as a whole because I don't know much of anything about some of the first games. Uh, I only really know the GBA and DS Castlevania games, and I wasn't sure if Order of Ecclesia was the last one or not. I did look it up. I know there's, I've heard of one called Harmony of Despair, which is like a multiplayer game that I think takes a lot of the assets from the DS games from the looks of what I saw from like a screenshot. But that's not, I don't think a typical Castlevania game because it's multiplayer. Hmm. And I, I think I heard from a friend that it's like a time-based thing where you just kind of do a small level with other people. I don't know if that's competitive or cooperative, but it's technically not a typical Castlevania or Metroidvania game, I guess. Hmm. But then there was also something I saw called uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, which I think also had like a sequel or two. But I also don't know if that's a typical Metroidvania or not. It might be like a 3D third person game or something. Hmm. I'm not sure. I didn't look into it. But it said it was made by Mercury Steam. Does that name ring a bell? Not particularly. They made the, the remake uh, Metroid Samus Returns for 3DS, and they made Metroid Dread. Huh. Alright. So I thought that was interesting. It took me a moment to remember what Metroid Dread was. <laughs> it's like, oh, that was a bad one. What? No, that was Other M. Never mind. Other M, yeah, that was the bad one. Yeah, Dread was the most recent 2D yeah, with the side scroller Metro. Had the Emmys. Yeah. Not not the Emmy Awards. Yeah, that's what I thought first too. I was like, wait, wait, nope. You're right. They were called Emmys. But yeah, I don't I don't know if it's just another instance of me being dead inside, but the Emmys to me were not very scary. They were just annoying. The fact that you had very little chance of actually countering them if they caught you. Yeah. Which, you know, is is kind of scary the first time. But, like, by the fourth, you're like, ugh, again. Can we just not already? <laughs> right, I can't do that in midair. And I don't have the witch equipped. <laughs> oh no, my foot. 
Achilles heel. Uh, pretty much. Wait. <laughs> okay. Downside of this very finicky hitbox. <laughs> no, it's like, are you sure you want to perform this action? You must be a furry to do so. <laughs> Proceed. No! <laughs> oh, and you got another one. Mushusu, uh... Oop. Sorry. ...did something. I think, think I said grow poisonous tail? Yeah, I think that's it. Huh. Yeah, it just kind of attacks when you do. Seems like it. Unless you can also make it attack by touching the screen, I don't know. No? I don't think so. Hold on, let me actually get the stylus out. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Tapping intensifies. Okay. Okay. I don't have to hold it. That's nice. But unfortunately, it probably drains your magic the entire time. Yeah. Alright, back to this. And you're cool, but for now, not the student witch. Uh, I think the witch was at the top if you wanted it. Oh no, it was the student witch. Why is the student witch there? It, it keeps switching. Like, sometimes it's like, oh, it was the last one you used, so it's, you know, right at the top. Yeah. Other times it's like, nah, I'll put it at the bottom. I notice sometimes it'll put at the top a soul that you just got, which may, it may include times that you get a soul that you already had, but I don't think you picked up the student witch soul when you fought the one in that room full of women. Yeah, no, I didn't. So I don't, I don't know why I did that. I thought you were dead. There we go. Well, now she is. Right, now I have to get back up there. How much time do we have left the episode? Uh, maybe two minutes. Wow, I wasted so much time. <laughs> oh, well, we, we did make progress and we found a teleport point, which is very nice. As well as an extra save point along the way. Yep. And at least we had plenty of things to mention. Yes, we had fun. And another thing is, um... Oh yeah, I was watching uh, a different stream of Kiara's. Uh, sometimes she does like a kind of like an interview thing with some of the other members, and she helps translate because a lot of the other members are, you know, Japanese only. Um, mm -hmm. But she mentioned a game that I don't think I've heard any content creator mention ever. <laughs> it's it's just such an old and probably obscure game, I imagine. I don't know if you know of it, if you've ever played it. It's called The Neverhood. It's like a claymation game. Hmm. And it's like a puzzle kind of game. Uh, kind of like a... I think you could call it a point-and-click adventure, I guess. That... I don't know. For some reason, it sounds very slightly familiar, but then again, I don't think I've ever seen a claymation game. Uh, two of the memorable things is, one, there's like a drain somewhere you can fall through and just fall off the map and die. And there's this one kind of like a mushroom looking plant. And if, if you eat this round thing off of it, you, you burp for a really long time. And you can do it like three times and it'll get longer before I think it just repeats. But if you do it like for the third time, you'll burp for like a solid five minutes straight. <laughs> Jeez. And you'll just be stuck watching probably, if I remember correctly. Uh, but one of, one of the things I remember scared the crap out of me as a kid was that there's this green monster creature that you encounter at some point. And I think at some point you blow it up by like feeding it dynamite or something like that. As you do. <laughs> um, if you want to hold off so we can end the episode after I finish this story. Uh, but yeah, then there's, I think after you blow it up, there's like a creature inside. I don't know if it was a creature that was like taken over by whatever. It was just like a person that's inside i don't know or if if they're like a bad person i don't remember it was not <laughs> it's not clear because no one talks <laughs> it was just this creepy freaking green creature 
they had a person inside somehow when it blew up. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Sounds I, legit. <laughs> I think we'll have to end the episode here. Sorry we didn't make a ton of progress, but we will continue this next time. So, goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>